What's good? It's your boy, Zara, all rights reserved. Now, before we even go into what I said before, we're going to go into the parameters of man-to-man -man situations. So the interaction we should have amongst each other. Okay. Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love in honor preferring one another. And preferring doesn't mean relationship wise. That's what they tried to argue. No, it does not. Preferring means in preference. That you're not against them. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may be long upon the land. Which the Lord thy God has given thee. That means. You better respect your parents. Or whoever God has put there. Because if you don't. It leads to destruction. That's why he said. The Lord thy. And it's in caps. The Lord thy God. In capitals because he gives insight to them to lead so he demands it okay philippians chapter 2 verse 3 let nothing be done through strife or vainglory but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves you're not supposed to see yourself as better than anyone else if you do it's vainglory and your blessings are not from him first peter chapter 2 verse 17 Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Most people have issues with just the fear God part. They, they're they like, I don't fear God. God's nothing to me. They're not scared of him. They don't even think about him. He's nothing to them. They feel like they can always get by on their own. You can't. Okay. That's the thing. You need him. So needing him means you got to make the decision to serve him. Where we at? Titus chapter 2 verse 7. In all things shewing thyself a pattern of good works. In doctrine shewing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity. Most people aren't sincere. And that's when deception and the devil intervenes. You got to be sincere in what you do. Corruptness. Come on, man. Romans chapter 13 verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. You got to give in to God. See, this is the thing. And basically, you're sinning, not acknowledging him. So you can't leave this earth and even speak. That means everybody sins if they don't accept him. Because you're resisting God. Jesus Christ is God. We read that verse. So that's what I'm saying. You're resisting him. You got to stop resisting. Or you're going to be in damnation. That's a sin. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 32. Thou shalt rise up before the hoary head. And honor the face of the old man. And fear thy God. I'm the Lord. Now I'm going to get into that. That's one major thing we're going to cover. Because you got to understand what those means. But let me keep going. We're going to cover that. May not be this one. But trust me. I got you. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12. To 16, for we dare not make ourselves. Oh, I'll read. No, 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 not now. No, 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 no. All right, I'm back. Luke chapter 14, verse 10. But then thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, the may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. He wants you to show him to others. You guys don't want to show, you guys don't want to speak about God. Don't want to be around no one with God. You don't want to be in anyone's company with God. You don't even want to talk about him. You got to talk about him. You guys act like he's not there, man. He gave you that. He gave you the room to eat. He gave you the food to eat. You guys really want to go. You want to do things without his presence. You should be doing everything with him. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God. Those faith follow.
considering the end of their conversation. Because at the end, I probably say, God bless you. Yo, follow the Lord Jesus, man. Put your faith in him. And if you don't follow what I'm saying, but it's true. But that right there in our conversation, we're having a conversation now, whether you know it or not. Colossians chapter three, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong, which he hath done. And there is no respect to persons. That's why I keep saying to them, Hebrew Israelites, when they say we're the chosen brother, no, no, brother, you're not. No one is. It don't matter what you learn. I'm telling you, you're not right there. Colossians chapter three, verse 25. If you want to, you can come tell me the difference. Brother, you're not. No one's chosen. We all are going to the same place, running, and we all making choices together. You're not chosen. So you got to stop saying that. It's dangerous when you're saying it that way. You got to be careful. Right there. Receive for wrong which he hath done. So everybody's going to receive for the wrong of their sins. So even if I'm telling you this, my sins, your sins, we're all judged off what sins we make. People that make worse sins are judged more readily. It just looks at the sins we have, but he knows it. You can't hide it. And if you don't accept God in Jesus Christ, it told you right there, you would be punished for that alone. That leaves you for punishment off the rip. First, uh, to begin the race, accepting him is the beginning is of understanding. It's the beginning of you getting what you got to do. Okay, we read that. All right, let's go. Second Corinthians chapter 10. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. So when you're comparing yourself to other people, thinking, oh, I could step better, I could do better. You're, comp you're looking at people comparing yourself. It's not wise. You're measuring yourself up, bigging yourself up to see, are you better? Do you got more? It's a sin. It leads you to doing bad. Verse 13, but we will not boast of things without your measure, but according to the measure of the rule, which God hath distributed to us a measure to reach even unto you. Do, don't boast. Stop boasting. Stop boasting. For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure as though we reach not unto you. For we are come as far as to you also in preaching the gospel of Christ. Not boasting of things without our measure that is of other men's labors, but having hope when your faith is increased that we shall be enlarged by your, you according to our rule abundantly. You'll gain more through what God's trying to give you. Stop doing it and just trust in God. He'll give you more abundantly, abundantly more. You got to believe. 16, to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you. If not to boast in another man's line of things made ready to our hand. They're saying they're even saying we're not doing this to boast. We're just coming to tell you the truth. They said we're not coming to boast. We're telling you the truth. So they're confirming with, we're kicking truth, period. Nothing else we're doing. All truth. Let love be without dissimulation. Stop. Don't fake love. Stop having fake love. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. And that's the beginning. Romans chapter 12 verse 9. 10. Be kindly affectionate to one to another with brotherly love. In honor preferring one another. Period. Not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit. Serving the Lord. That's what we're all supposed to do. That's our only mission of a human being. You ask, what am I here for? That, that's what you're here for. Acts chapter 10, verse 34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness 
is accepted with him. Anyone who works towards righteousness is accepted by him. No respect the person at all. No lineage, no nothing. No, all that talk is a lie. Let's see. Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you are and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. If you are a believer and you know a believer or they're not a believer, you're supposed to be at peace and preach the word to get them to confirm and conform. To understand. Kick truth to them. That's all we're supposed to be doing. Kicking truth to each other and everything. Only those works can get you into heaven. There's no other works but what you do for his kingdom. Nothing. Nothing. Romans chapter 2. Let's see. If that fits. Let's see. Uh, I will do this thing. I feel like I'm going to do it twice. But um, Romans chapter 2. To them who be by patient countenance and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. So if you want eternal life, but unto them that are content, contentous and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of a man that doeth evil, of the Jew first and also of the Gentile. But glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. For as many as have sinned without law shall perish without law. And as many have sinned in law shall be judged in law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. But the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law, are a law unto themselves. Wow. Hold on. Which shew the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness in their thoughts, the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. And the day... When God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. Yo, God is the realest for real. He just said to you that being conscious of your actions is what you are. You know, good and bad. So don't play around. But those that say that they don't believe and are without the law, they're still going to be judged. So people you got to chase a, a relationship with Jesus Christ. Bottom line. You're still going to be judged. I'm not going to judge you no different. You don't have respect to persons. I'm not looking at no one better than you. Because he puts you in a place to know good from bad. He puts you in a place. You can't say you don't know. You can't say you don't know. You know good from bad. You know. Then you got to learn about doing his will. Or else you heard about it before. Everybody in the world heard the name before. Did they look to go after it? Did they want to learn about it? Do they care about what he has to say in his Bible? They don't. They don't. So that's not an excuse. You'll all be judged. Every last one of you, including me. You don't escape it because you say, I don't want to hear about it. That's no excuse. He just wiped your excuse out. This guy just took your excuse. So you got to you gotta either do it or don't, period. Do you accept them or not? Read this story. The NHS, National Health Association. What? Again, we have an issue of mishandling sickness. And now they want to talk about the medical staff that was working so hard is the problem. How? They almost got their life taken from working around disease. And they're stepping away because they're not getting financed or something not happening. You can't blame them. They put it all on the line for y'all. But now look at them. Okay, let's kick into the curb and get somebody else. It's wrong. It's wrong. 
You got to do what God says. Okay? Which is respect the people who work for the nation. When we were sick. And don't do things like this. Period. Respect them. Now. All rights reserved.